Hey YouTube, heading out to pick up the I-beam for the log splitter. Take a look at it, see what it looks like. Uh, can get it. I found it on Craigslist for a hundred bucks, but sight unseen. So we're gonna take a look at it, and see if it'll work out for a project. All right, guys, here it is. Hundred bucks, ten feet of steel, eight-inch I-beam. Oops. Hopefully it stays in the vehicle. So uh, all in all, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Lady bought it with her husband and they're moving, relocating down to Texas. And so uh, they bought this 10 foot of eight inch I-beam, as you can see here, to get this, uh, for a lot, to build a log splitter. And then uh, they never went along with it. So uh, they're selling it. Oh, it worked out pretty well. Okay, so here is um, here's the steel beam. I'm trying to take this in high def on my uh, uh, iPod Touch now that I have a faster internet connection. But uh, so I'll be piecing together a few videos. So and a plane is coming over the top. So. You have to bear with me. But anyway, it's a 8-inch section of I-beam. And this is probably, uh, I don't know, 3 8 inch thick steel. This is for the, um, oops, sorry about that. This is for the uh, new project that I'm going to be building, and that's a log splitter. Um, so I picked it up today. Got it, as the video said earlier, 100 bucks. And it's in really, really good shape. The people bought it to make a log splitter and in the interim decided to relocate to Texas. So as um, we were walking out to her barn to pick up, uh, to show me this, she, she says, oh, by the way, you can have um, this pump that goes with it. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. So... She comes out with uh, a, what apparently is a Borg Warner hydraulic pump, which is pretty cool. Keyed uh, keyed shaft, and uh, I was like, "Wow, that's that's awesome." And then, then she provides me with the uh, I don't even know what the hell this is, but the coupler the keyed coupler that goes with it and then uh, I should know what this is of course you know I'm a little new to this and then the motor housing now I don't have an engine for this yet so this will go I assume like that and uh, goes on the motor and fits like like so and then here's the Oops, here's the teeth that fit on there and we'll go on the shaft of the of the engine. How about that? But I have to look up this part to see this part. I gotta look up the this Borg Warner. That's uh 20, I don't know what that 20 represents. P25E oh boy. I need my glasses. E H two one R zero one. I don't know what that means. So that's the deal, and uh, that's my scotch. So, um, <clears throat> what do you think? Pretty cool. The, there's there's a little hole here, right there. I think they may have started something, or maybe that was just to punch out to move the the beam. But ten feet, a hundred bucks. Plus a hydraulic pump and a engine mount. I was pretty pretty stoked about that. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I was looking at brand new steel. I was looking about 150 to 187 bucks for uh, eight feet, and uh, here I come across just real light surface rust. That's you know nothing. Um, nothing. A little you know brush wire brush, and uh, it's going to be painted anyway. So. Alright, so here's the first video in a 
series of future videos. This isn't going to get started this weekend, so just so you know, I'm coaching baseball. My son plays uh, travel as well, baseball, and we just, it's there's a lot going on. But I did notice that on YouTube, there is not a lot of how to build a log splitter. And a log, I don't have absolutely no use for a log splitter. I don't even have a wood burning fireplace. But I can always sell it. And uh, I will use, I do have a fire pit outside, and I'm always short on, um, on wood. So it'll be just something I'll have, and then I'll, I'll, I'll sell it. But I thought it'd be cool to, to do one. I've always wanted to build one. I've got the welder to do it. And uh, I definitely have the the uh, eagerness so come on along for the ride it's gonna be uh, it'll be fun all right guys that's all I have for today thanks a lot for watching and uh, thanks a lot for um, your viewership we'll see you next video take it easy <laughs> oh, my wife's gonna kill me